Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today is first day and it was the day where I drove my Tesla Model 3 to work and after work I was grocery shopping, supercharging, so I did a lot of things with the car. Unfortunately I have not recorded well, I didn't have the camera with me and with my phone I felt like yeah maybe I should have done it, but the thing is I have the car now forever so why try to record everything like it's going to be the only time that I have the opportunity. So this is just like why I decided to not record anything. But there it is. Look outside. My car is parked right there. Just amazing. Like for real. Every time I look outside and I see this nice front of the car, I just think like, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. I have already checked through Google Maps to see where do I want to drive. I'm planning to not drive too far because I still don't really have any setup to camp in the car. But I plan to go to the high coast, take my drone with me, maybe make some nice shots of the car. Then I will start recording a few videos there, for example, talking about my banking situation, what I have decided on. But yes, so driving to work, it was not the biggest problem, of course, because it's just like 1.8 kilometers. One thing, however, that I can tell you is this small little bump that I have on my driveway to the apartment, I always thought like I'm very unlucky and that the car is getting contact with the ground because of the low ground clearance. However, this morning I was driving so slow and at the moment I thought like, okay, now I'm touching. I went outside, looked under the car and realized that there was still so much gap. Okay, maybe not so much, but like so much gap. And I knew like, okay, it is not the battery or like the, the cover touching the ground that it probably is the tires just having a change of grip maybe because it's kind of getting downhill that you have this feeling of okay now it's touching something and that is a good feeling so I saw it I was like yes thank god and I went to work very happy and then yeah after work I went grocery shopping as I already said and I stopped at the supercharger because, and that is another important thing, as of right now, charging at home here does not work. And I was thinking about the whole charging situation at home. Do I really need one of those charging ports at home where I can charge faster than just with the normal plug? And I think, no, I don't need it because I will not use the car to drive to work on a daily basis. I will use the car during the work days maybe once a week and then during the weekends for long distance things. So there is not really a need to charge the car every day and also like very fast. So this is why I think like I at least for now save the money and maybe in the future if I will change my apartment somewhere else then yeah maybe it might be useful for, but not for now. And that is the reason why I also went to the supercharger today to charge my car. I was arriving at the supercharger with 35% and I have not really preconditioned it because I was at a grocery store maybe, yeah, five kilometers away when I put it in to get the preheating. And it took 30 minutes to charge from 35% to 90. For me, it doesn't really matter that much how long it charges because I just opened YouTube, I watched some YouTube videos, I was going through all the settings again because this was the first time that I had in the car to spend to check through every setting, every detail. I maybe make also a video just about what I like to set up in the car and yeah and then 30 minutes were over and I said like okay now let's leave because it was already 5 p.m. So the car is now at 90%. Actually one setting where I'm still a bit curious about is the overheat protection because of course it is nice that the car is not overheating but is it also good for the battery if the interior is not overheating or does it not make too much of a difference because today after work I was like checking my phone and it said like interior temperature over 60 degrees and I was like whoo that is not good and yeah so I'm asking you guys what do you think is it bad to park the car in the sun. If you have any knowledge about that, feel free to write that down in the comments. Because as of right now, I don't have any cover to park the car under. But I would say that is it for today. 
We will see each other definitely tomorrow. I think already with some content from the weekend because there is not too much planned at work. People are already starting to leave now because we're getting closer to the vacation days and some people just take more weeks. So I would say that's it. I look one more time at my car. <sighs> great, great. Okay, have a good one guys and see you in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.